Throughout history, humans have relied on various methods to navigate the world. Today, we can do so with precision using the global positioning system known as GPS. In 1955, a Dutch naval officer submitted an application with the U.S. Patent Office for a radio-based long-range navigation system. A few years later, the Soviets launched Sputnik, the first artificial satellite into Earth's orbit. Two physicists at John Hopkins University would use the opportunity to calculate the satellite's orbital location using the Doppler effect. A year later, they were approached to investigate the inverse problem, pinpointing the user's location given the satellites. This was most likely for a top-secret project that involved launching a missile from a submarine that would require knowing the submarine's location. By the 1960s, the benefits of satellite navigation were becoming apparent in military and civilian use. However, the price tag was just too enormous to justify, but the work still continued. Small systems like Transit, which used a constellation of high satellites, provided proof of concept. While others showed it was possible to run accurate clocks in space, a requirement for GPS. By the 1970s, the Cold War had driven nuclear deterrence to the forefront of national security. On Labor Day weekend in 1973, 12 military officers met at the Pentagon to discuss the creation of the Defense Navigation Satellite System. A year later, the program was named NAVSTAR, which would become the umbrella for GPS. GPS uses four satellites when locating a user. Signals from three satellites compute the coordinates, while one provides a time deviation. This is referred to as trilateration. Initially, GPS was solely for military use. However, after the shooting down of a Korean airliner, which had strayed into Soviet airspace, President Ronald Reagan announced that GPS would be available to the public once completed. By the 90s, GPS had become part of the U.S. military arsenal. In 2000, an executive order would make non-degraded GPS signals available to the public, opening up the commercial market. Today, the U.S. Space Force oversees GPS, which is offered globally free of charge. However, other nations are in the process of deploying or already have their own satellite navigation systems.